right, well, hello, reInvent, and thank you, Andy. It's wonderful to be here. So how many people here have heard of Expedia? Yes, Expedia, it's all about travel, right? Well, underneath the veneer, it's actually all about tech. Expedia is actually one of the largest global e-commerce tech companies in the world with over 22,000 employees and nearly $90 billion in gross travel sales. We operate an incredible portfolio of the world's leading travel brands. I know you're leaning over beside you and saying, I didn't know they owned that. Mm -hmm. I'll let you in on a little bit of secret. But underneath those brands is an incredibly powerful platform. Platform, you say, Mark? Now I've got your interest, don't I? <laughs> Yes, Expedia is actually the largest, most global, diversified travel platform in the world. Every month, 600 million visits come and hit our websites around the world. Over 1.6 million corporate travelers use our platform. We handle over 55 million phone calls every year in over 40 different languages. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people going to a lot of places. And our job is to connect those people with the vast and diverse array of travel service providers that are also on our platform. We are the only global platform that can literally take any person from any place to any place by almost any means. We call ourselves a travel company or a tech company. In reality, we're a people logistics company. Now, you'd imagine a platform like that has some pretty impressive stats, and we've got some pretty impressive stats. If you look at daily search volume from external users, if you take a look at the number of inventory and pricing calculations, the number of automated, translated, generated words we do, some of the numbers are absolutely staggering. But of course, we didn't get there overnight, and of course, we were not born in the cloud. We started in 1996 as a small division within Microsoft, and have since gone through a series of reinventions. 2009, we started a massive replatforming effort to essentially rewrite every line of code. Recently, we retired our 10 millionth line of C++ code. Pretty remarkable. So now we're on this next journey of reinvention, which is reinventing into the cloud. And we sit here with about 45,000 servers, about 35 petabytes of data, over $600 million of physical assets in our data centers. And we think about it, it's kind of like swapping out the engines, the navigation system, probably the interiors of a 747 at 40,000 feet over the Atlantic. But we are absolutely up for it. Because in essence, Expedia, me and the 10 other Expedians who are speaking at this event can represent ourselves as, in fact, serial reinventors. We started with AWS testing in the true Expedia way of test and learn in 2012, and over the course of the last five years, have created increased confidence that this is absolutely the right move. And we've set some really bold goals. Within the next two to three years, we'll have 80% of our mission critical apps in AWS. And we're making some serious financial commitments. We spent over $100 million this year. Next year will be north of 150. So why, why, why would we possibly do this? Why? Well, three important reasons. Resiliency, optimization, and performance. Let's talk about resiliency for a second. Who likes these two words, disaster recovery? Yes, who is involved in these exercises? Well, Expedia, these things are done with military precision. Every second mapped out, knock calls on the bridge hourly, pizza for everyone at 2 a.m. But that recently is looking like the past. Very recently, earlier this year, we had a taste of the future. Our flagship site, Expedia.com, which takes over 100 million hits a day, was experiencing some challenges. Within hours, we rolled the whole front end up into AWS. No issues, no preserved customer latency, no pizza required. So the future for disaster recovery for us is about always on with AWS. Let's talk about optimization. Optimization for us has come in the form of developer empowerment. 
Our engineers used to write code, pass it off to test, pass it off to DevOps. Somewhere in there, someone would call the data center guys and say, I need 10 boxes. Mm, better make that 30. I know you did that. I used to be the CFO. Today, it's completely different. Our engineers have end-to-end -end autonomy, end-to-end -end accountability. They're building, they're deploying, they're optimized. You give an engineer immediate feedback and a goal, boy, they do some amazing things. Our engineers have already saved us millions in this year, millions this year, just by writing more efficient code. You talk about performance, whether it's the fact that we spend over half a billion dollars in marketing algorithmically and are now actually processing real time, whether it's the fact that our engineers are now deploying code 2,000 times per day, over 4,000 cloud-native apps, we've essentially been able to take the innovation curve and actually stand it on its tail, and we're super excited about what comes next. Whether it's customer experience, the fact that we've improved site performance for our Asian customers by over 4x, performance is remarkable. And we really put it to test a couple of years ago. We took this guy, the Gnome, remember the Gnome? This is a site that has millions of hits a day, and within 91 business days, we took it off of its existing infrastructure and migrated onto the Brand Expedia platform. How did we do it? With near infinite traffic routing, scalability, and AWS. In fact, it changed the way we thought about acquisition integrations, and since Travelocity, we've done several more to huge success. Of course, AWS started as a data center outsourcer, but since that, it's become this incredible ecosystem of services. If you talk to the Expedians, we're probably using most of these. Thank you for giving back to the ecosystem. But of course, none of this really matters for Expedia unless we're delivering on our core mission. We are incredibly passionate about being customer-centric. For us, it's getting closer to absolute personalization, being able to deliver to you to you, to you, the perfect set of travel search results for when you're going and what you want to do. We're scoring over 300,000 hotels every second, increasingly taking more personalized data to actually get you the perfect results, and handling nearly 18 million images, over 35 terabytes of data in AWS, we're able to serve up the perfect image to help you make the perfect choice nearly instant. We're also very passionate about being locally relevant in every market in which we operate. Our Malaysian customers need to have perfect translation. We need to have all the local places, all the local hotels, and it needs to be fast. By moving our code closer to our customer, our Malaysian customers are getting absolutely that. But let me take it up a notch. In this crazy world of ours, we're probably more interconnected than we've ever been. But if you read the news like I do, it seems like we're drifting further apart. What's the solution? Well, there's a hint in something that Mark Twain once said, which is travel is fatal to bigotry, prejudice, and narrow-mindedness. In therein lies the fact that if we can physically connect with each other, understand each other's cultures, we can make this world a better place. As the world's largest travel platform and the only place to connect anyone to any place via any means, Expedia has an incredible responsibility to the world. It's something we take seriously. It's something we're humbled by. But it's something that we are incredibly energized by. And we are absolutely thrilled to have AWS alongside us each step of the way. Thank you.